Hello, my name is Megan and I'm a fourth year materials engineering student at Cal Poly. You might not know a lot about the major of materials engineering. I know that I didn't before I started researching different majors and different colleges during my senior year of high school. So don't worry about it. I'll give you a pretty broad overview of what it's like at Cal Poly. So just a few facts about the major. In May, you see the tetrahedron a lot and each point is part of what makes up materials engineering. Structure, properties, processing, and performance. Now, when I reference structure, I'm talking on an atomic level. How are the atoms situated? Maybe it's a polymer. What is What do those chains look like? Because that'll indicate some of the intrinsic properties of the material. Also, the properties, which I mentioned. Uh, maybe we're talking the melting temperature, the glass transition temperature, things like that. And then for processing, maybe you're treating a metal and so you're heating it up really high and then you take it out of the oven to cool as opposed to leaving it in the oven to cool, that's going to kind of change the ductility of the metal and that'll change how it performs. So all these things, the structure, the properties, and the processing, all come back to performance. We're trying to optimize the performance of a product, so we need to make sure that we understand these three things and how they work cohesively or independently to affect performance. We don't have a concentration, mainly because materials engineering is pretty specific on its own, but we do have a certain amount of technical electives that you can take. So in that, it's usually in the STEM field, and it could be something like organic chemistry, or maybe a few more physics classes that you didn't get to take, or maybe even something in like biomedical engineering, just a different engineering department. So that's cool. You get 12 units of those, so it helps to maybe tailor your education in a place that you want it to go. We also have eight units of tech breath electives. So those are slightly more broad. You can take, like I did my sophomore year, you can take a business law class for non-business majors, which is pretty cool, or even a finance class. Maybe you want to know more about finance. One thing I really like about materials engineering is that you can go into a bunch of different industries with it. I work on campus as a student paid researcher through the environmental engineering department, which is really cool. I get to look at algae all day studying biofuels. I get to do a lot of microscopy. So if you're interested in research, I know sometimes Cavoli has the reputation of being a pretty industry driven school, but if you're into research, there's definitely opportunities to do it and get paid for it. Also this past summer, I worked at a company called Dexcom down in San Diego, and they make continuous glucose monitors for people with diabetes. So I worked on their design verification team. And actually, when they were advertising for this position, they were actually looking for mechanical engineers. So sometimes there won't always be an opportunity in industry specifically for materials engineers, but we fit into every industry. I remember I just got home. We have some pretty cool clubs associated with the major. There's MESS, which is Materials Engineering Student Society which helps you get in contact with industry and just different career opportunities, things like that. There's also NACE, which deals with corrosion engineering, which is a big one for materials engineers. Corrosion prevention is huge. You also get to take some pretty cool classes within the major of materials engineering, like metals, ceramics, electronic materials, like semiconductors. There's a lot of different avenues you can go down pertaining to materials engineering, and you get experience and get introduced to all of them within the major. As a materials engineering student at Cal Poly, you also have to do a senior project. In the beginning of the year, the professors will come to you and propose projects they're working on or want to work on. It could be a wide variety of things. Maybe characterize the materials properties by doing testing using the SEM or the DSC, or maybe you're trying to solve some kind of engineering problem with materials engineering. All the things I've mentioned out of that, my favorite thing about materials engineering is how close-knit it is. You really get to know your professors and the people in your class, which makes it feel like a community and they help you out with homework and just life and it's really nice. And, and my biggest parting advice to anyone considering this major is go check out our flowchart that lists the classes you have to take and basically the recommended quarter that you take them. And I think it's always a good rule of thumb to go look at the list of classes that you'll have to take for a major. Yeah, thank you for listening to me talk about this major. Obviously, since I'm talking to you, I really like it, and I really like Cal Poly. But if you still have questions, feel free to email Engineering Ambassadors. They will talk to you. I'm the Materials Engineering Department rep, so you might talk to me, and I hope 
that this video helped you understand a little more of what materials engineering is, and hopefully you like it. But yeah.